So now I'm going to play the NSK State Anthem and following that Alexander will make his presentation which is an address to Europa. Music please. than a single human could ever hope to count. Europa, your life has cost lives, not only your own, but all over the world. Europa, you are guilty of extortion, murder, foul play and war. Your armies have deafened reason and defaced the earth. And yet, your achievements have made you large, despite your provincial smallness. Your enemies are without number, and yet you defeat them all. Your power is money, and money, and power. And even at your poorest, you are still rich in knowledge and history, unlike any of your competitors whom you keep on your knees so efficiently. Europa, you fading empire! Your exponents of greatness are rooted in blood, and yet you call your achievements the crown of humanity. Your history is the suffering of the world and of your own people. Your greed has shaped history 
and you are not ready to receive its blowback. Instead, you insist on your wisdom as redemption from failure. Your rubber barons and kings have been replaced by industry, banks, and failing nation states. Your ideologies have vanished, and only one is left. The logic of production, economic growth, and infinite prosperity. One model for all, one mode for all. Your success is the success of the world, and nowhere can this be seen clearer than in your little siblings' decay. Your mutated offspring, America, has muted the world and is now mute itself. There has been much talk of American exceptionalism. I am asking, are these voices silent now? And I ask, what about European exceptionalism? What about the failing experiment of humanism you pride yourself with in your vanity? What is it that makes you yourself, Europa? Is it your sublime socialism, your chained capitalism, or your declared intent to ensure freedom and prosperity for all? Or is it rather your guilt that makes you fight yourself, even in this age of worldwide interactivity and immediate feedback? You are on the road to becoming one, a metaphysical unity of disparate constituents, a collective on, of untamable tribes, the many in the one. You may ask yourself in fear, what will become of you when all the differences that define you are finally one? And I answer, you will not lose your face. You will not lose your languages, your histories, and your guilt, for they define you as much as everything else you make your own. You are not a mere content. You are a transpersonal being, and like God, you manifest everywhere without showing your true self. You are the enemy within, and the helping hand outstretched. You are violence and you are mercy. From your hand drips blood and from your soil spring seeds that forge the future. Europa, let me tell you this. Your fertile ground is ripe with the blood of your ancestors. From thousands of years of warfare and barbarity spring the blossoms of civilization which you hold so dear. But you poison everything with your grip and create life which is undead. You reproduce yourself to become more than you are, and when you look at yourself in the mirror, you are shocked at the primitive expression on your face. These are difficult times, my friends. And Europa is marching on despite all warnings. The pipes of gold still play the tune and a billion bodies are entangled in its spell. The big experiment, was it a failure? Will you be able to uphold the teachings of the past, yet live them in accordance with the future? While your nations are crumbling and empires are falling, Europa is rising anew with a breed of beings whose existence is shaped by your experience. Let the world fall into an abyss of darkness so that the guiding light of your torch may shine even brighter. Rejoice in the pleasure of your manacled thoughts and words and deeds and breath and body warmth. Receive yourself in the most tender way and accept your undying love of yourself and the hate it brings. Transcend your limits so that you can thrust away your shackles and manifest your destiny as you have always done.
for better or worse. By overcoming your fears and your greed, you shall receive the pleasure of true oneness and unity and diversity. By placing your conscience where it can guide you without regret, you shall see peace and fraternal love from every single one of your countless limbs. Be not afraid of your night terrors, for they are a teaching only history can give, a teaching you have taken to heart and shall never repeat. One can only teach if that which is to be taught has seeped through every fiber of one's being, and destroyed all dogma like an inoculation with the highest truth. Europa, I shall not guide you, nor counsel you, for you shall know truth, and you shall use it wisely, and wield it ruthlessly. You shall bear witness to the past, as you shall bear the present, and the forces of money and power, which are the demons you've created, the demons you can't exercise, the demons who will be your demise. In your self-destruction, lies the tragic beauty of failed grandeur, and your achievements mark the peak of mankind's fate. Once you've crumbled to dust, we shall all be free, and lush forests will loom on your face once again. Fear not, Europa, for you have stood tall through time, and time and time again. Even if you die and fail and falter, you will live on in the hearts of those whose minds you've burned. It is them to whom I speak. It is you, you, Ropa. So, let it be known, my fellow brethren and sisters of the one true faith. You are not the old world. You shall become the new 